All right, it is summertime in the South. We had to wait till late evening to do this video because it gets pretty hot in my building. Now, we also had the benefit of a thunderstorm to cool it down a little bit. Uh, but don't let the heat stop you from going fishing. Uh, the summertime is one of my favorite times of year to fish. You can catch fish a lot of different ways, right? Uh, when we think of summertime fishing, the first thing we think of is fishing deep. The fish move deep. That's what we've always heard. That's what every bass fishing handbook says. Uh, you catch them fish on points. You catch them on humps. I, I'm sitting there holding a box slam full of deep diving crankbaits. Uh, that's what you're going to use on the points. You're going to use deep diving crankbaits on the points, on the humps, uh, main river stuff, not really in the creeks. You can catch them dragging a worm. You can catch them on a flutter spoon. That's... All the ways you can catch them, that's what we grew up doing. That's what we've always heard. Now, let me tell you about one other technique that, to me, makes summertime one of my favorite times of year to fish, and that's fishing shallow. More specifically, fishing around brim. You know, there's an old wise tale that, that when the bass spawn, uh, the brim terrorize them. They do. They run up in there. They're trying to eat the fry. They're trying to eat the baby bass. Uh, and it's just, they pester them to death. So when it flips and the brim go to spawn and in the summertime, the bass go right back there and pester them. The wise tell is they're paying the brim back. I don't know if I believe that or not. I do know somebody messed with my little girl when she was little and I had a chance I was going to get them back. So maybe that we'll just go with it. That's what's happening. The bass are getting the brim back. A uh, brim actually spawned two or three times over the summer. Um, so they spawn throughout the summer and the bass are not going to be far away. Uh, when you're looking for brim or when you're looking for the bass, act like you're brim fishing. Look for the brim beds. They're going to be in the backs of the pockets. Uh, they're going to be in the backs of the coves. They're going to look like honeycombs, like a bunch of honeycombs in the water. You can visually see them. That's a great spot. Another deal is in between the spawns of the brim, the brim are going to stage up. Uh, and where they do that is in shade. Shade is really, really critical. This is why sometimes a sunny day can be even better because shade is where the brim are going to congregate. You'll see a shady spot, look under there, and you'll see, I mean, sometimes you'll see 50, maybe even 100 brim hanging up under a tree or under a dock, whatever's creating the shade. Um, they love to stage in shade. Here's another reason it's, it's really, really good time of year to fish. The best way to catch them, the best way to imitate a brim is top water. And everybody loves to catch fish on top water. I got a few here. Uh, this is just your standard pop bar. Uh, this is your walking style bait. This is a frog. A variety of top waters work. Um, so, so really just pick your favorite. I've caught them on a buzz bait. I've caught them on walking baits. I've caught them on pop bars. I've caught them on frogs. If you can imagine a top water, it catch brim oriented bass. Um, so just pick your favorite top water. Another great reason summer is great for a kid, right? Top water is an easy bait for a kid to fish because one of the hardest things to learn is when you're getting a bite. You don't have to guess when you're getting a bite on the top water so you can take a kid out there, let him throw over brim beds or let him throw around some shade and, and it's a great way for them to catch a bass. So. If you learned anything in this video, number one, it's my, one of my favorite times of the year to fish. Uh, number two is brim, brim, brim. You almost go out there and act like you're brim fishing. Act like I'm going out there to try and catch brim, but you're going to use bass lures. So you're going to visually see the brim. You're going to throw at them just like you're trying to catch the brim. And before you know it, out of nowhere, a bass will explode on your top water because he thinks it's one of them injured brim and he's gonna get him back from where that brim messed with him during the spawn. So that's my tip. Go brim fishing. Go brim fishing. A bass pro is telling you to go brim fishing. Just use bass lures and you'll be surprised at what you can catch. So summertime, summertime heat, doesn't mean we need to stay home. It means we need to get out there and fish and catch some of these topwater brim-oriented bass.